might be an illegal immigrant. Obviously, that part that's causing a lot of controversy. But interested to know that Fidel Castro doesn't like the immigration. Yeah. Well, he's all about human rights, you know. Oh, all about it, yeah. Well, this issue oh, has my. people fired up, and they are talking about it at home. They're talking about it at work, at the coffee shops, on the Internet. It's just really got people going, riled up. And we want to take you online right now to check out uh, some of that chat. Boy, it's been blowing up, and Brian Tompkins is from Boom Media. And Brian, good morning. Good morning. So we have just been talking. Obviously, the Internet is buzzing over this issue. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple things. First of all, there's a variety of websites that have popped up as a result of this. And this is just, what do you call this, uh, social... Well, what I was talking about is a term called social social search. Social search. Yes. So everyone's familiar with a Google search, and everyone yeah. can knows how to Google it. Sure. But the term social search is a way to look what people are talking about through the social media uh, space. So yes. trending, really, it's it's a way of, do, of doing that. Exactly. Setting up a website takes time, and to see these websites develop over time is difficult to do. But we can see what people are talking about in real time. In the social search I did before coming on, someone was mentioning Arizona immigration every 37 seconds. Wow. Every 37 seconds. What so are they talking really about? Like when in, uh, just uh, are they voicing their opinion about it? What are what are the topics in relation to that? Well, just in the previous story, you talked about mm -hmm. everyone has an opinion. Everyone. Fidel Cuban has an opinion. Yes. Yeah. Fidel. Uh, I don't think he has a Facebook page, Fidel, no. but um, <laughs> everybody does have an opinion. So. It, it, you see all sides of it, and so that's the thing. So they ask about you know w what you should show on the news, and the thing is, is this is going on and on and on, and people are still talking about yeah, it. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the pages that you found, and and you know maybe not surprisingly, uh, most of them are in favor of the uh, of the new law. Well, I look at, at the KUSI fan page, yeah. mm -hmm. and we see the last few posts that you've done over this last month, the most response that you've received on your fan page is about the immigration law. So you see a lot of conversation. But when I go and use that social search, so yeah. most people don't realize on Facebook you have that little search bar just like on Google. Right. I can do a social search and see what people are talking about and see what pages and groups are developed. How many pages are there? On there Facebook well, I look right now and I'm doing a social search on um, pages. Yes. And I see that the, the biggest pages are in support of the Arizona laws and in support of Arizona. Mm -hmm. I see a million strong for Arizona, a million strong for Arizona immigration law. And as I scroll down, I may see a couple that are uh, against, but the majority of groups, the majority of pages that have been created by the actual users have been created in support of Arizona. And then the other side of this mm. is how really effective is this in terms of molding public policy or actually changing anything really out there in society, or is this just a way to blow off steam? Well, when it comes to the age demographics, you know, many people think this social media and this Facebook space is for kids. Yeah. But that age demographic is moving forward. The average age on Facebook is now in the upper 30s. Mm. So these aren't kids talking about these topics. These are voters. These are people that go out and vote. And the virtual water cooler, as you may say, is what's going on. And so the corner restaurant, the corner uh, barber shop, those are gone. But now people are moving the conversation here. So it does make a difference. But the politicians and the people and, and uh, news organizations, they need to listen to what's being said, and this is real-time polling. Very interesting. I've noticed a lot it's of politicians have been friending me lately, and yeah. now I know why. They want your contacts, and it's a way to, to, to generate support for themselves. And they want to be friends with your friends. Yes, yes they, they do. do. They don't want just me. And they can tell two friends and two friends. <laughs> Brian, good stuff. You Thank go. you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll see you later. Brian Tompkins. Okay, well, don't miss uh, part two of our special. Yeah, because... Um, Ross Becker went down to Arizona, actually traveled down there out.